Cards and Tankers is a social collectible card game that puts you in an old timey tavern, building your deck of cards and then battling it out and making friends. The game lets you collect cards and there's over 230 available. You customize your deck and this goes cross platform against all different other players and multiple news media outlets and reviewers have said that this game is incredible. Best VR card game and with that over 1300 ratings giving it about a 4.2 star. Big split, a lot of 5 star ratings but some 1 star rating. 5 star ratings saying it's the best. They love it a great game and honestly a lot of the lower reviews saying that they got banned a lot of people that got banned coming back to complain and review bomb the game i will say from personally checking out this game it has one of the cleanest lobbies i've ever seen for a free-to-play multiplayer game and that's because the moderators work tirelessly x8 is a hero shooter that's free to play and is often called the valorant of vr there's different hero abilities turrets trip wires you can customize your loadout and this game has only continued to get better since launching with over 1800 100 ratings now and about a 4.8 star rating this game is well beloved 89 percent five star ratings people saying it's fantastic it's great they love it they love how it's free people pointing out that there's no pay to win they really love that it's all skill based and with very few low reviews only two percent one star rating some people are complaining about glitches especially in earlier builds of the game people saying they got banned or people saying they run into toxic community members i've got to say though from playing it when it very first came out x8 continues to develop and get better and better and that review score just keeps going up i highly recommend checking checking it out. Zenith Nexus is a little different one on this list. This originally launched at Zenith The Last City. It was a $30 game to play. Then they added a new mode, Nexus, and made that free to play. Originally, the game was a huge VR MMO and you could sink hundreds of hours into it, looting different classes, fighting boss battles, and people absolutely loved it. They added the Infinite Realms, which is the free to play side of it. And this is an action adventure RPG where you go through parkour challenges and you do quick sessions. You can then upgrade your character. But unfortunately, now with over 7,000 ranks the rating has been tanking as this nexus side has started the game still has 70 percent five star ratings with people still saying there is fun people in the game they like what the game is doing they like that it's free now but a lot of people giving it lower reviews saying it used to be way better before they added the free side saying that the devs have abandoned the, the main side of the game people being frustrated that they paid for it originally this is probably the most controversial game on this list due to all that so i'd love to know in the comments if you played it before if you're playing it now with a free to play how do you feel about the game Kazuna AI is kind of a strange game in that it feels more like a concert simulator. You step in and you are in front of Kizuna with your pen lights in your hands and it feels very Beat saber -ish. There are different levels and note speeds that these come at you. And if you do find you like the game, you can purchase a $37 music pack. Over 800 people have rated this thing, giving it just under a four star rating with a pretty hard split between 61% five stars and 19% one stars. People saying it's awesome. It deserves all the stars. They love anime and anime girls. So they gave it five stars. But if you look into the lower reviews, people saying it's a ripoff of Beat Saber, it's laggy, glitchy, and that the stuff with the anime girl is just a little weird. If you like what you're seeing here on the video, those 600 people did give this a five star. So if you like what you're seeing, then you might check it out. First Contact is surprisingly still showing up in the top free game. This was an early experience for questers to try out, just to basically experience VR. Typically already pre-installed on headsets, it was a good thing to pass around demo to your friends. It puts you back in time in kind of an 80s robot area where you're hanging out with this little robot and it just has you feeling the presence of VR. Although having launched alongside the original Quest in 2019, it has over 1400 ratings and about a 4.6 star. Overall, people saying this is the best way to start VR. It's a great thing to demo to people. It's something everyone should have on their headset. The 80% five stars and only 4% one star. And people giving it low reviews just basically saying it's too short or they wanted more out of it. But I mean, this was really just a free experience to show people what VR was like for a demo. So if you show your headset off to people, I'd say keep this on your headset for them. Shootout is pretty new to the free quest games realm, just coming out in December, and this is a hero MOBA style shooter where you are taking on 3v3, and people say the best thing about this game is the gun customizability. You've got all different kind of attachments that change the way your gun shoots and how you fight, and this is something you can play with your friends, or you can even battle alone. They're adding more maps and game modes. With it being so new though, only 500 ranks puts it about a 4.2 star, 68% 5 stars, and 11% 1 star. People saying it's so much fun, it's one of their favorite well, people saying it's also very new. It has some glitches. It has some issues they run into. Overall, a pretty positive rating and some pretty polished graphics though. If you're into these kind of shooters, it's worth checking out. Blast On is a free dual style shooter PVP game that's been out for a long time, although it's been getting a lot of new life now that the pass through mode has been really popular on the Quest 3. You stand across the room against someone, new guns spawn around you, you grab those, you shoot at them while simultaneously trying to dodge their bullets. There's a lot of different modes in this and we even got to show this off at some of the big cons we go to and take VR too. And people absolutely
absolutely love this game and it shows over 2600 ratings giving it a 4.4 star people saying it's really cool they love it it feels like a workout because you're moving so fast but the lower reviews citing occasional bugs or people complaining because the game did once upon a time cost money and then it went free to play as some of these games do later on but the mixed reality mode is really cool poker vr not to be confused with poker stars vr is a game purely around poker the game taps it has the most expressive avatars so that you can actually read your opponents full hand tracking support and advertises it uses actual physics based gameplay that really make you feel like you're in a casino and not just at a single poker table over 6,000 ratings in this giving it over a four star rating still a lower one though 68 percent five star and 12 percent one star people saying it's great they love it it's addictive maybe that's not a good thing but low reviews citing some toxic people in the community people saying that you'll get scammed out of your chips so that you end up having to ultimately buy more but a lot of people saying between the kids and the people who might be inebriated while playing it definitely can be toxic so be warned if you're going in this it's probably best to go in with friends or people you know if you somehow missed the big news xbox cloud gaming came to quest a while back meaning you can use your xbox game pass play all of your games in your quest whether in pass through or just in the vr space this is rated as one of the top ones still people are still loving and technically you can sign up for fortnite and try this even without a game pass but it is in beta and with that a much lower rating at a 3.2 over 600 ratings some people saying it's awesome some people saying it's terrible and a lot of very mixed reviews around having to pay for an extra subscription or how this works if you already have game pass though it's definitely worth checking out to see what it's like inside your quest but if you've got a good tv setup surrounds on all that probably won't really be that necessary for you unless someone else is hogging the tv gods of gravity puts you in a universe as a deity and this is a social arcade style real-time strategy game you're trying to collect resources in the galaxy and then fighting other gods but there is also a single player campaign if you want to play alone or you can even play against bots over 1600 ratings giving this around a 4.3 star 76 percent of those five star ratings and just nine percent one star people saying they love the game giving ideas to the developers in the review section about what they want to see from it and what seems to be a trend a lot with free games is the lower reviews are often people getting banned or people saying that there are community members that were just treating them unfairly or being really toxic it's a tough thing to moderate in free games but gods of gravity does have enough single player content i'd say it's even worth checking out that way monkey do at first glance might remind you of gorilla tag clones but this is a different type of game where you're still a monkey but you are racing your friends trying to collect bananas first whether swinging on vines parkouring through the environment and they even added a little mini game that was like a tribute to echo arena which got discontinued a while back monkey do's bounced around and been one of the most popular games actually on the quest since it launched on the quest store and with that nearly 2,000 ratings puts it right about a four star rating real hard split 65 percent five star 20 percent one stars people saying it's really fun they love it people enjoying the mechanics and saying it's nice and different but people saying they have issues with glitches some people don't like the art style or they're comparing it to gorilla tag of course it is a different style of game if you've never tried it than gorilla tag some people compare it more to like a mario party type of game whether you're into gorilla tag or not monkey do can be pretty fun especially when you're flinging poop at your friends vegas infinite used to be called poker stars vr this is a gambling simulator puts you in different casinos and it's one of those games that you really have to be into the casino vibe in my opinion to enjoy it if it's something where you just want to hang out and play some poker with your friends it is an option and a lot of people have tried this with over 26,000 ratings giving it right about that four star rating another hard split 58 percent five star and 17 percent one star some people saying it's the best thing ever they absolutely love it it's great whether you're just having a social time or whether you're playing card games but the lower reviews are all over the place people saying it's rigged people saying they feel like they're getting tricked into playing with the chips and then some people citing that it is a gambling simulator and they feel like it should be better regulated because of that personally i'm not real into the casino vibe so i didn't find it crazy enjoyable but if you are into any of that it will really take you to that feeling epic roller coasters makes this list because you've got to have a roller coaster game on your quest to show to people and it has free modes and free tracks for you to actually play on beyond that i wouldn't recommend spending any actual money to unlock anything extra but the free ones are a good taste to give to people who want to see what a roller coaster in vr is like almost 4,000 ratings giving this one a bit lower at a 3.2 people saying that they like the roller coasters and they're really fun but ultimately you're seeing 25 percent one star reviews from a different combination of things people saying that they paid for the all future track pack and then they stopped giving them the free ones like they were supposed to and a lot of people saying that basically spending money on this just isn't worth it so if you are going to download this stick to the free stuff on it and enjoy just that hyper dash is a team-based shooter with fast-paced locomotion and also a teleportation mechanic which is called dashing which helps you move around the map quickly and dodge incoming fire it has tons of different modes from capture the flag payload domination and others and whether you want to play it online or offline with bots there are options for that and with the game it's been out a couple years it's approaching 3,000 ratings with still above a 4.5 star rating almost all positive reviews 
6% five stars and only 6% one star. People saying it's awesome, the kills in it are really satisfying, it's a great game for VR. And mostly the low reviews complaining that the game is older so it's not always as full or if there are full matches it's people that are really good at the game. Definitely something you could still practice a bit in offline mode, check it out or even just play it that way if you want to have fun. But if you get the right crew and you can actually get good at it, this one is really cool. Bait is an online fishing game made by the same developers of one of my favorite VR games, Demio. This boasts different lakes, tons of different types of fish you can catch, multiplayer hanging out with your friends, and they even added a caster's cove, which is like in other games there's they add these social lobbies where you can hang out and meet people and then go fishing together, or in Demio you go play games together. And this is a game that has been around for years, is loved by many, and with nearly 3,000 ratings is down to a four star rating. A lot of people giving it five stars, 57% saying it's really good, they really enjoy it, but the problem is there's a lot of one star reviews also dragging that down because people say the lobbies are just full of toxic kids saying mean things, bullying, and a lot of issues citing a toxic community that for some reason has found this game and hangs out in it. If you have a good set of friends in VR or a Discord server you know, this is a really fun one to get in if you just want to chill, hang out with your some friends. The last time I was in the lobbies it definitely got a little dicey though. With a near perfect rating, Big Ballers VR is for the sports fans out there. With a bunch of different VR sports games, you're playing with up to 12 other people whether you're playing basketball, baseball, volleyball, and more. The game advertises that it's really physics based and gives you the most natural gameplay and that near 5 star review with almost 8,000 ratings definitely agrees. 91% 5 star ratings and barely any low ratings at all. People saying this is the best sports game, it's the best you're going to get on Quest. And with only 2% 1 star reviews, most of them citing either moderation, community members, or getting banned themselves, this is definitely a must play on the list. No Clip VR is for people who like horror games, multiplayer games, and especially if you've been following the whole Backroom series, No Clip VR is basically that Backrooms in VR. It does use a Gorilla Tag style of locomotion by bouncing around on your hands, although it's nothing like Gorilla Tag. This puts you in the creepy back rooms, different entities you're trying to escape, and you can get in with friends or make new friends and check it out. Over 4,000 ratings, giving it about a 4.5 rating. People saying it's their favorite game. It's so fun. They love that there's actually a free VR multiplayer game that's horror because those are pretty rare. Low reviews though saying that you only get so much of the game before you have to pay for it. People saying they didn't know what they were supposed to do or where to go, but tons of people agree this is actually a really great horror game. Population One is approaching its four year anniversary and this is basically a Fortnite style game in VR. In Population One you can go solo, you squat up, you are dropped into a big city where you hunt each other down. It was originally a paid game and it did go free to play a while back, giving it some mixed reviews unfortunately. Over 14,000 ratings give this thing about a 4.2 star. People agreeing it's one of the best games in VR, it's so much fun, it really feels like Fortnite with the building mechanics. But of course, people giving it some low reviews with 10% 1 stars, people saying the game used to be more fun, people saying the community is terrible or they got kicked out of a match. If you're into Battle Royale games or Fortnite type games, this is definitely one worth checking out, but make sure you have your VR legs because the motion can get pretty intense. Horizon Worlds is a social VR game, if you want to call it that. It's more of a social platform where you can hang out, but it has many games in it. Unfortunately, because it's meta and because of privacy rules, it hasn't rolled out to the entire world. Although you may not consider that unfortunate if you played it before and it wasn't your jam, but basically you get into Horizon Worlds and it's their version of Rec Room or VR Chat. A lot of people hanging out, having fun, but of course some people being super annoying. And that shows with nearly 7,000 ratings giving it only three and a half stars. Real hard split, 47% five star, 25% one star. People have said over the years the updates have really made it better. It's actually past version 150 now, but people bring up that even though this has a system built in for reporting where it actually auto records so that the events can be checked out by a real life person, people say that there's still too many little kids that people aren't being held accountable and that there's just a lot of toxic people in a lot of the games. Unfortunately, a trend here with any of these free online social games. Personally, I find more enjoyment out of VR chat or rec room, but if you've done those and you're a little tired of them, Horizon Worlds might be worth checking out. Gun Raiders is another free to play VR shooter and one that's been getting updates for a long time. It's actually going on season nine. Gun Raiders has a unique mechanic where you can jetpack around, you can climb on the walls and they now have loot levels that you can play through, but tons of different modes from battle royale, assault, free for all, deathmatch, and more. Nearly 5,000 ratings bring this just about a 4.1 star though. 64% five star, 12% one star. People saying that it really is a cool and unique shooter in VR. People saying they love it, but then other people being a little split on the mechanics. They say the grappling is like a zip lining and they don't actually like it. People saying that going up against mobile players, there's an unfair advantage. Or of course, people just saying toxic people in there whenever they're playing a shooter with them. With all that, it does have some unique mechanics and some high speed gameplay. If you're into shooters, it's probably one to check out. Roblox made a big splash when it was announced it was
was coming to Quest. And of course, this is the worldwide phenomenon game Roblox. Flat version has over 66 million daily active users. And this is a sandbox style game where you can create, you can play creations other people have made, and now those can all be done in VR. It was in beta for a long time and definitely got some rough reviews during that time. It's at about 6,000 reviews and a four star rating. And the reviews are still pretty mixed with a lot of people just throwing random pictures in the reviews like you see in Gorilla Tag reviews, just giving it five stars and not saying why. People saying it still feels like it's in beta, but it's really got a lot of potential if it gets there. A lot of people gave this low reviews initially and even still because the game is set to a hard limit of 13 years old and above and people's accounts were set below that so they couldn't even get into the game and they review bombed it a bit. With that, there is a lot of VR rooms that have got built in support now and they work well, but a lot of them was just VR slapped on and it wasn't very good or it made people sick playing some of them. Definitely a game if you're into Roblox, then you'll want to go try this version. But if you've never been into Roblox period, might be worth skipping for now. Penguin Paradise was a more recent addition to the official meta store coming over from App Lab. This is a free to play penguin simulator where you've got all different kinds of modes and games you can play as penguins. It does have graphics similar to Gorilla Tag and so people do compare it to that, but there's a lot of different game modes in this. You can play sled races where you race down the hill, another one where you're running from a Yeti, a battle royale mode that people say is actually really good, and a whole lot more. Over 3,500 ratings already giving it just above a four star with a big split 66% five star, 15% one star. People saying they really want like the game and people saying it's really good, but people saying there's a lot of very young kids in it, kids begging for mod, kids being annoying. So depending on what you like in game lobbies, you might have a great time trolling people or you might want to get in with people you know and only play with them. Rec Room is one of the original VR social multiplayer games. Starting out even back in the PSVR 1 and early PC days, this game has been around forever. Avatars have come a long way, they've really changed the way they look, but basically you can get in this game, you hang out in lobbies with friends, you can go play mini games, paintball, people can create all their own kinds of rooms, so there's millions of different rooms to check out in it. And it comes with all the good and bad pitfalls of being free online multiplayer. With that, nearly 30,000 ratings giving it about a 4.2 star, 69% 5 stars, people saying it's the most amazing, they've been playing it for years, they absolutely love it, they've made real lifelong friends in it. But of course, lower reviews citing that lobbies these days can just be full of screaming people, can be super annoying to try and actually play, and sometimes people even get ganged up on by all these people and get banned or kicked out of a room, especially if they're doing well at a game. A lot of my early VR memories of Rec Room are really positive. I had a lot of fun playing it with friends, so I would recommend if you have a group of friends or you can find a Discord or even a group within Rec Room of people you like, play that, check it out. It is a really fun time with your friends. VR chat for most people out there is synonymous with just VR in general. One of the biggest social apps ever known on the entire platform and a reason a lot of people get not only VR but end up investing in full body tracking. A social game where people have hung out for years and played and there's been all kinds of mini games and rooms to check out and a lot of them are really beautiful cool places that you can just go see. We even used to film our podcast exclusively in VR chat once upon a time. Over the years it's gained over 25,000 ratings although a bit lower than other social ones at about a 3.7 rating. People will talk about how much they love the game, how you can hang out and make lifelong friends similar to Rec Room. It's just fun. There's tons of videos out there of people just finding wacky off the wall people but the same pitfalls as anything else here. There can be some really rude, some really toxic people. Overall though if you're a VR fan and you haven't tried VR chat that would surprise me. Let me know in the comments if you haven't and why. Before we reveal the top pick, one quick honorable mention, Ultimax almost made the list of games here. Ultimax is also made by Resolution Games, the maker of Bait that was earlier on the list and one of my favorites, Demio. Ultimax is a VR sports game that puts you in a mech playing against other players in a game reminiscent to Rocket League and 2v2, although still less known with not even a thousand ratings. People saying it's really good, they love playing it and that you need to check it out. But other people saying after all this time, there just wasn't enough people in the lobby or that it could have been better with the mechanics that they used for it. Bit of a hidden gem though, so if you haven't ever checked it out, it might be worth taking some time. And Gorilla Tag, of course, taking the number one spot as that most popular, biggest free game out there. It's the only game now to have over 100,000 ratings. It's hard to imagine you don't know what it is, but basically you're a gorilla bouncing around on your fists, whether you're playing Tag or one of the other mini games that people have created inside the game. It's a place where a lot of people just hang out. And with over 100,000 ratings and a 4.7, you'll find reviews all over the place. People saying they love it, it's where they spend all their time, it's a great workout. People saying that it's absolutely terrible, just screaming annoying kids in lobbies. It's definitely a game where you're gonna get a very different experience every time you check it out. And there you have it, the top 25 free games right now on the Meta Store. There's tons more out there on App Lab. We've done tons of lists. I'll leave some more of them on the screen out here if you're looking for more free games to play. But thank you so much to all of you who have hung out here with the channel. We just hit 75,000 subscribers thanks to all of you. So thank you so much and I'll see you in another reality.